A very warm welcome, everyone. I, Dr. Ritika Dhiman, on behalf of Voice of Healthcare, thank you all for joining us today as we pay tribute to the exceptional healthcare professionals who tirelessly look after our well being day and night. Voice of Healthcare, along with our supporting partner, Yashoda Hospitals, has taken an initiative to recognize National Doctors' Day through our video series, Know Your Doctor, which aims to showcase the diverse interests and passions of our esteemed doctors. On this National Doctors' Day, let us express our gratitude to these extraordinary individuals. So let's get started with the introduction. I welcome Dr. V.S. Pandey, Senior Consultant, General, Laparoscopic and Robotic Surgery, Yashoda Super Speciality Hosp Hospitals. Welcome, Dr. Pandey. Thank you, Dr. Ritika. Thank you. Yes. A very uh, happy Doctors' Day to you. Uh, thank you very much and uh, same to you. Happy Doctors' Day. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, so to begin with the conversation, what inspired you to pursue a career in medicine? Oh, yes, it's a very, uh, I mean, it's a natural question. And uh, see, uh, medicine is a, a choice, say, by default, when you like uh, biology. So I was a biology student. And uh, naturally, uh, there are some uh, hopes from the parents, some elders in your family. And I, I let me tell you, I am the first doctor in my family. So my uh, father used to say, say, this is the medicine is the only field where your knowledge, your decision makes it a, a, a drastically, uh, I mean, uh, decision making is uh, inversely, I mean, directly proportional to your uh, outcome. So I was very fascinated with this uh, medicine, uh, medical field. And uh, my brother was also uh, is a botanist, so he was a biology student. So say it is just a natural choice. And uh, being a biology student, <laughs> I have to do it. Right. Yes. Yeah, so being uh, so, your father said a uh, said uh, great words that uh, you know yeah. uh, every decision that you make in medicine can significantly yeah. impact a patient's impact life. The outcome of outcome of yeah. life. Yes, exactly. And um, I am sure that you have changed a lot of life uh, in your experiences, uh, uh, in your uh, career. You have changed a lot of life because doctor has a very great impact on on the patients, uh, how how the disease is being treated. Uh, so that's that's very good to know that you had uh, a significant interest in uh, biology and uh, which led to uh, you know you being a doctor now so um, so we are talking about medicine are there any particular medical advancements or technologies that you find intriguing or believe will have a very significant impact on the future of healthcare in india yeah that is a very important pertinent question actually See, uh, my profile says, and I am a robotic surgeon. See, so <laughs> the name robotic itself says that this is the technology and, uh, and uh, how the technology impacts and saves the modern medicine. So I must say that modern medicine is, a, I mean, a, again, a newer heights because of technology, because of newer inventions. So like in my field, I am a surgeon. Surgery, uh, you should ask uh, why I opted surgery. <laughs> Actually, I just want to say something. Uh, because, uh, see, sure, uh, you can in, say it now. In a, school, <laughs> in a school of medicine, when I was an MBBS student, I feel that this is the this is the surgery that gives a direct uh, result. I mean, you can see the before and, uh, and after surgery, what makes the difference. You can get a instant relief, Patient goes home with the thanking many times to you, like he is having stones, he is having some tumor, some some abdominal pathology. So he is very thankful after going after, after discharge. So I opted surgery, and surgery is always thrilling. Always gives a, I mean, it's passion. If you do surgery and patient is recovers in your, I mean, after next day, then it, it gives ultimate relief, ultimate satisfaction. So coming to your original question. And then how the this I mean technology helps. So earlier it was a laparoscopic surgery days. Earlier it was a open surgery. Then came a laparoscopic surgery where we go inside the abdomen by minimal access, build small cuts. Then came a robotics. 
uh, no this is the new field but it is altogether different experience i must say then this increases the safety of patient in many folds why because in robotic surgery we see a binocular vision and instruments are entirely different like in laparoscopic surgery instruments are straight they go straight inside the abdomen they move forward backward or up and down but in robotic surgery you your vision is improved you have a binocular vision and the instrumentation is entirely different it instruments are like working inside the abdomen with your hands with your hand movement so the technology the movement the vision and in robotics you in near future you can now operate from sitting a console to up to a many, many thousands kilometers so this is the technology that is coming in very near future obviously after a good connectivity that is 5g and 6g 7g whatever you say so this is the future of medicine especially in the surgery so i can see this is the future is very bright and technology always inspires the surgeon and that's i am i am feeling day to day and witnessing it right you have very rightly yeah. mentioned uh, about technology being uh, and it is it is making uh, healthcare more accessible and affordable uh, to uh, the the areas where there is no healthcare at all so i think we'll be able to see that change in the near near future um, remote patient monitoring is coming up and you talked about robotic surgery and the safety uh, safety of the patient as well so newer methods are coming that you have just talked about um, in in surgical field and um, yes so um, so uh, for this uh, my last question uh, for this conversation will be what is the message that you would like to give to your fellow doctors apart from the professional front on their personal uh, uh, you know front uh, so i must say actually both professional and personal say it is a common i mean my, my advice is uh, see uh, we should uh, work honestly first honestly sincerely ethically a word ethical or yeah, ethic is very important so don't be in hurry like don't be in a hurry like uh, getting some name and some uh, something like I mean, advantages. It comes naturally after a period of time. So my advice is stick to your profession honestly, sincerely, and ethically. Everything comes last, right? And uh, see the I must say in my last word, the pleasure, the satisfaction, and the ultimate experience after treating a patient, say saving a life, say, saving a life. saving a life say a saving a family is ultimate you cannot earn you cannot experience in any other field so don't be in a hurry just stick to your profession honestly this is my advice to my younger fellow especially that's a very great advice uh, of uh, you know for your fellow doctors for the juniors that are coming yeah. in junior yeah. resident senior resident uh, yeah. from your experience that you should work honestly and fame will come to you and doctors are uh, you know said to be second to god uh, so so it's a, it's a pleasure to save so many lives on a daily basis so yeah. thank you so much uh, for your kind words and um, uh, with your experience i'm i'm sure that uh, uh, you have uh, uh, made made a significant impact on patients life so uh, with this i would like to end this conversation here i would like to thank you and all the doctors who selflessly serve our nation's health uh, together we salute your dedication compassion and unwavering commitment to our health Thank you so much, Dr. Pandey. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you uh, Dr. Ritika, and Happy Doctors Day to all my fellows in YouTube. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank so you. much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.